but now Mother's Day weekend is here and how about something really new for your mom this year? Not typical mom activities, or maybe they are. Tracy Savage is here in the studio now and has more for us. Tracy? Well, Chuck, move over, men. Here come the women. Women tired of watching their men head off to hunt and fish without them have decided to take action. Every year, the Department of Fish and Game holds a program to teach women outdoor activities, and you will see the women come by the hundreds ready to learn. No. What do you think of this? You just caught your first fish. I love it. I just love it. I can't, I can't believe I'm doing this really. It is the thrill of outsmarting a fish. Hey, not bad for a beginner. <laughs> I can't believe it. Cool. Go. Yes. All right. Or hitting a clay target. Or cooking outdoors with a Dutch oven. Delicious. It's very good. A thrill most of these women had never experienced before, until now. They are all on a weekend adventure near Santa Barbara, learning how to be outdoors women. None of us are relying on our husbands or boyfriends to do anything. And then we're out here and we can do everything on our own. You can see the bird, see the head of the bird. So what you want to do now in this situation is you want to swing wide around and circle back in and pinch the bird between you and the dog. This would be something that I could learn how to do and um, build confidence. More than 100 women, school teachers, nurses, travel agents, mothers and daughters hauled out their sleeping bags and headed off to camp. Extend your back up and straight so that you're standing really up straight. And think to learn from other from women your, how to do um, what so many head. men can do. Women come to us with, with fears of, of being alone. Um, they don't know, uh, have the confidence to go out and hike or to camp or to fish or to hunt. Louise Fiorillo of the Department of Fish and Game organizes the annual weekend program, which attracts women from all across the state. There's times when I was driving down here, I wondered why I was even coming. But I'm glad. I really am. And as it comes through, you let it slide a little bit. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> One more time. The so instructors, like experts in their it. sport, start in a classroom setting, teaching safety and skills. Then the they're off. The These air. guns aren't loaded. There you go. You got it. Whoa. Bang! Look at the target, not your barrel. I even tried my hand. Oh. Now. Yes. Hey. <laughs> it's tackling something new, making new friends, learning you can do it. Nothing is beyond my reach. Nothing. You know, whether it's fishing out in the ocean, whether it's hiking, or, oh, it's wonderful. It gives you confidence. That's great. The Department of Fish and Game takes applications for its outdoor adventures every spring. If you'd like the phone number, call us here at the station. Back to you. Okay, thanks a lot, Tracy, for that. Uh, we've got traffic, yes. So we're going to look outside of the freeways. Paul Johnson, hi, Paul. Well, we'll check it out for you because we have trouble in a couple of areas. Look at the southbound Golden State Freeway as you head down into the East LA interchange, packed in solid. Now, part of